Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I wanted to talk about the very first baseball game I've ever went to, which was Reds versus Padres on this state 29 years ago, May 12th, 1993. I was 11 years old. Class field trip, uh, the main point of the class field trip was uh, we went to the Cincinnati Zoo, but the night before the zoo trip, we went to the baseball game. And I didn't really grow up in a sports family. I, I really more so picked it up for my friends. And back in those days, I was huge into trading baseball cards, and that was, became a big obsession of mine. And I did play a little bit of Little League Baseball up to that point, but really I got it from my friends at school just – you know, swapping baseball cards back and forth. So fast forward to the field trip, to the baseball game. For me, like just living in a small town, going to the big city, seeing the huge stadium. I mean, Riverfront Stadium is pretty ugly, but through the eyes of somebody my age, it was magnificent. And I remember walking in there and it's just, everything is so vast and spread out. And back in those days, um, the Reds played on an artificial turf surface, which was very, it's a bright green and just the the green turf and the 50,000 seats, all the different colors. It was just an amazing explosion on the uh, census, so to speak. So it was just really cool walking in there, seeing all that. And then I specifically remember watching the players warm up and you had players on each side of the foul lines, uh, slowly stepping back, throwing darts to each other and warming up. And I'm talking like the player on the receiving end wouldn't even have to move their glove. To me, that was something that really stood out. Just one guy on the third base side, the other guy on the first base side, they would slowly move down the line and each throw would land perfectly in the glove of the receiver. Now, once the game started, for the Reds, it was Jose Rijo, uh, the Padres, Annie Bennis. I think that's how you say his name. Um, I actually remember something very unusual happening in the game, and I had to look it up later on. The unusual event was Annie Bennis homering, you know, the pitcher hitting a home run. That's obviously not something that happens every day, and definitely not something that's going to happen anymore with the uh, DH of both leagues. But it was just so cool to be there with all my friends. We're sitting up high. The players looked like ants. And the whole thing was just so grand and spectacular. And, you know, I saw Larkin. I saw, you know, Sabo and then Tony Gwynn on the Padres. Um, one thing I do remember was the game ended up being canceled, I believe, after five innings. But we sat through through a long rain delay. And I'll be honest, I really didn't follow the Reds up until that point. And I, I'll never forget this as long as I live. On the Jumbotron, they showed highlights of the 1990-year-old series. And I remember thinking, man, I missed out on something just spectacular. And I guess in a sense I've been chasing that ever since because nothing quite like that has happened to the Reds since. But I just remember it was a very impressionable moment on me just watching the highlights of the 1990 team and just thinking, where was I during this? Like, how did I miss this? <laughs> I mean, I, I vaguely remember the 90 Reds, and obviously I grew up idolizing, you know, all those players, but I don't have a specific memory of them winning the World Series. So it was kind of this sense of longing, the sense of like, man, I really missed out, and I've carried that with me. But that date really set the, um, you know, things in motion as far as baseball fandom and Reds fandom. And every time I go back to Cincinnati, Great American Ballpark, obviously different stadium. I always sort of like put myself back into the shoes of that 11-year-old boy at the time. And just the majesty of the whole thing, seeing live baseball, the players, the, the skill, just the, the backdrop and everything. It was so perfect that day, and it has remained perfect ever since. So that day was basically when I got hooked on Reds baseball and baseball as a whole. So wanted to share my experience about that and the other thing i remember was during the rain delay me and my friends racing around the upper deck we were sitting behind home plate and we picked out a spot one of us started on one side one on the other we'd run all the way across and finally i think we got yelled out by some mushers or whatever but anyway yeah just great memories and i'll never forget the day as long as i live anyway just wanted to uh, give some of my thoughts um as always i thank you guys for watching i'll talk to you later take care bye